What's going on gamers? Have you ever wondered why when you queue into deathmatch you seem to be absolutely unstoppable? But when your warm up's over and you hop into competitive, you're more useless than a celibate hooker? This comes down to something called performance anxiety and in today's video, I'm going to teach you step by step how to overcome it so no matter what game mode you queue into, you're going to be able to play at your best and rank up very quickly. Also, you may want to stick around to the end because the last tip is a literal cheat code. With that being said, let's get right into it. <laughs> Performance anxiety is a funny thing. Essentially, it's your own mind too worried about losing or failing at a task that you forget everything you've ever learned and it can even make the simplest task seem impossible. So how do we fix this? The first thing that you're gonna need to do is stop thinking so much. Now, I know what you're thinking, See what I did there? How the hell am I supposed to stop thinking so much? I need my brain to play the game. Correct. However, what I mean by this is you need to stop thinking so much about the outcome and worrying about winning and losing and instead clear your mind and do what you know how to do, which is click heads. And this can be broken down into two easy steps. Number one is letting go of your emotion. You need to learn how to get over the fear of losing and instead start embracing it. There are two options you have when you lose a game. Number one, you can get pissed off. You can blame your teammates, you can blame lag or anything else, carry that anger and frustration over into your next game, causing you to play even worse, lose again, and repeat the cycle until you literally feel like you're terrible at the game and you can't rank up. Or number two, you can accept the loss, realize it's going to happen, and look at it as a learning experience that you actually got something out of. It may not have been RR, but you did improve and you did get better. You learned what to do, what not to do given certain situations, and now you can carry that experience and wisdom into your next ranked game. You need to stop looking at every single game that you play as a win or a loss and instead just look at them as learning experiences. And the more that you learn, the better you're going to get and the higher you're going to climb. There are always going to be games that are completely out of your control and you're going to lose badly. But that doesn't mean you can't get something out of it and still look at it as a win. Because if you got better or you learned something, you're still winning. By looking at the game this way, it's going to help you get over that attachment issue you have with your rank and lift some of that anxiety that you get when you queue under your main account. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if you win or lost the game that you just played, you are still getting better. And as you get better, you will inevitably climb out of the rank that you were in. It might not happen today, but it will happen. And this is the mentality you have to adopt if you want to get over your performance anxiety. The reason that you play so much worse in competitive than any other game mode isn't because you suck. It's because you're way too attached on winning and you hyper fixate on it to the point that you second guess yourself and you play terribly. So as long as you keep your mental in check, prioritize getting better and learning over winning and play consistently, it is inevitable that you will rank up. And that leads me to the second part of the equation you have to start playing more. A lot of people don't even queue onto their main account because they're way too scared of losing the rank that they are currently in. And when they do decide to play competitive, they play terribly because they still adopt this mentality. So you need to play more. And when you play more, you need to make sure that you are playing with the mentality that I stated in tip number one. Now listen, you're not just gonna magically get over your ranked anxiety and not care about winning or losing, that is impossible. However, if you keep playing and you keep attempting to look at every single win and loss, with the mentality of improving instead of actually focusing on winning, you will begin to over time stop caring about winning because it really doesn't matter anymore. That's not what you're focusing on. This in turn is gonna help lift your ranked anxiety, allowing you to actually play better and win more. The key here is to try to convince yourself every single game that you queue into that it's not actually about winning the game, it's about getting better as a player. And always remind yourself that over time you will reach the rank you want regardless of how many games you lose as long as you are always playing to improve and do your best. Now I know this is easier said than done but that is why repetition is key here. Fake it until you make it and keep enforcing yourself with tip number one. It's the combination of shifting your mentality and repeatedly exposing yourself to the stimulus that's causing your performance anxiety that will actually be the cure to it. So instead of not queuing and running away from it, you need to lean into it and get over it. That is the only way for you to get over it, actually improve and rank up on your main account. However, if you don't do both of these steps at the same time and you only do one, it's never going to work. Before I give you the last and most unique tip of them all, what is your biggest strength when it comes to Valorant? 
let me know in the comments down below. So now that you know the two steps in game that will help you get over your fear ranked and conquer your performance anxiety every time you queue into competitive play, you can also use this simple but effective breathing technique that is going to instantly calm your central nervous system, which is going to help bring your performance anxiety down right away while you practice steps one and two. And it goes like this. The first thing you're going to have to do is take a really deep breath in through your nose, followed by a super short breath right after, and then finish it off with a very long exhale. It looks like like this. You can do this two to three times right before you queue into your competitive game or at the beginning of the first round. And it's going to instantly help bring that performance anxiety down and allow you to stay calm and focused. And as a bonus tip, remember this last thing. When you get that feeling of nervousness or anxiety before you play, that feeling is the exact same feeling you get when you are excited. The only difference is one of them has a negative effect and one has a positive effect on your performance. So whenever you get that feeling, remind yourself that you're actually excited, not nervous. This little shift in mentality will help complement everything I said in the video so far. And if you follow all four of these steps, your performance anxiety will turn into ranked excitement very quickly and not only help you stay more calm in these high stress situations, but it's going to give you a massive performance boost as well. Also, if you feel like your teammates are always holding you back and they're the reason you're stuck in the rank you're in, go ahead and check out the video tagged at the end of this one. It's going to teach you how to deal with every single type of bad teammate you might run into, allowing you to play better with them and rank up very quickly. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you got any value out of this video or you want to see videos like this in the future, feel free to hit that like button, sub to the channel and ring that bell notification so that you can stay ahead of every other gamer and unlock your full potential. Much love guys. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one.